I'm Kat Navarley with ID TV, and I'm here with Liana and Steven with Static Films, and they are with Max Dagan. Yes. And this film has been getting so much buzz as it's a closing night film, and so I want to know how you guys decided to take up this project. Uh, it's a combination of a lot of uh, variables that go into place, but I feel like a lot of it was that Terry landed in our laps in this like really uh, serendipitous, you know, uh, way that kind of felt like a project that we couldn't not take on because it was very collaborative and very like music forward and a lot of things that like things that we want to accomplish as a production company and uh, we were looking forward to collaborating with him in this capacity and so it was it was just like a project that told this really fun unique story of family and drama and all the things that we look forward into a project. Did you guys know Terry beforehand, or you said it kind of fell in your lap? Did he literally fall in your lap? Well, Terry had known uh, a crew member that Rafi Jacobs, our other producing partner at Static, also knew. And so I think he originally called him for advice or something like that. But it turned into this movie because they got along so well. They bonded over a lot of their, you know, East Coast Jewish connections. And they, Rafi, I think, felt the story that Terry was putting forward. And so from there, we just, the minute we met the guy, we're like, we got to do something together. And Max Dagan is what it became. What do you guys look for as producers when you are looking for a project? I know you mentioned like family and those different themes stood out to you, but yeah, what are the certain things that will really make you want to get on board to a project when you, let's say you've never met the filmmakers or you're just reading, what, what do you guys look for? I'd say it's like story. It's something that feels exciting that an audience will be drawn towards. Um, it's anything that has a huge entertainment value, something that keeps something moving forward that you as an audience member want to continue to watch the movie. Something that we just like feel gravitated towards as producers is, I mean, anything genre yeah. based, but anything also that yeah, it's entertaining to watch. <laughs> yeah, and I think it's it's everything Liana said plus a nuts and bolts factor, right? It's can we achieve this? Can we make it good? Can we do it within the resources that we have and have it turn out as a, a movie that we'll all be proud of? And I think that's not obvious when a lot of get, scripts get sent to us and they're these large scale things. And we just want to know that we can uh, execute at a high level. And we feel that that's what we did here. And we're really proud of it. That's so exciting. I know as producers, you wear many different hats and there's a lot of different roadblocks. So what do you feel like are some of maybe the, the biggest things that you guys overcame while trying to make this? Well, the locations in general, we I think we had like 17 locations. It, yeah, it, it was, was like uh, something insane. And, and the amount of time that we had to do the movie, it feels like a lot of locations. It was a lot of moving and and in fast paced motion and constantly like growing and also yeah. challenging ourselves a lot. So I think there the chat, those moments. Yeah, there, there, I mean, there was a, the, the original script was a huge, huge movie. It had stadium sequences and of, you know, concerts and all these things. And we were like, how can we retain the heart of this story and the core of it while also doing it for the amount of money that we think we can raise and make for it? And so. That was our main job, you know. That's tricky because I think that one of the biggest things in like the people wonder as far as filmmakers when they're thinking about, you know, indie filmmakers is how do you get the money and how complicated is that? Because there's different routes, right? So how were you guys able to get the funding? I mean, it's every project's a little bit different. Sometimes it comes from the producer side. Lots of times with the debut feature, which wasn't this one, but in many cases, the director is bringing finance because it's people that back them and want to see their growth as an artist. And we've done a lot of projects with Static where it's like, you know, this is a career launching opportunity for a director to go forth and do bigger and better things that we will grow alongside that person, right? And so to have a little bit of investment up front from people who care about the person more than the, the script or the details of the story, that's the, the network that we're cultivating and that's how we're growing Static Films. Right, so it sounds like the, the people that you work with and the belief in the people are the most important thing. Of course, always, yeah, yeah. What do you guys hope for this film after it leaves the festival? Um, I, I mean, I hope that people are drawn to it in a, a way and that they feel some heart that we, I feel this love that the, the Terry, our filmmaker had done this out of like love for him, for what he saw in this family dynamic that he had created and what was kind of maybe drawn from some of his own ideas 
and uh, process, but I feel like I hope that someone can relate to it in some way and someone can um, find hope for their future and that, yeah, just kind of sees like the hope and accomplishments that they're able to do. And where can people follow Static Films and this this project on socials or online? Yeah, we have socials. Instagram, <laughs> yeah, Static Films LA dot LA, and also Max Dagan Movie. Is that it? That's it. Yeah. Perfect. Follow us. Yeah, we just want people to see it.